Hey what's up guys and welcome to Scratch vs Gandhi IDE in which me Lob2763 Jamin and Fat11 we four scratchers will make flappy bird in 30 minutes but me and Blob will use Scratch and Jamin and Fat11 will use Gandhi IDE and we will see if Scratch is better or Gandhi IDE is better and we'll also see who's the best scratcher among four of us so let's get started so i started off by importing assets and doing all the basic stuff but my process took a weird turn when i started coding Instead of working on the gameplay first, I start recording the start menu for some reason. Like I don't usually do it, but this time it just happened. <laughs> Maybe the 30 minute time limit just glitched in my mind or something. And this wasn't the only brain glitch that occurred. While importing assets for the start menu, instead of importing the start button, I imported the menu button for some reason. Like it was in front of me, it said menu, but I did not notice that. Yeah, this one is good. Yeah, I got it. The menu button. Oh, menu. Now that is a serious glitch. After making the basics of start menu, I realized that the background just looked really motionless and like it just didn't feel good. So I added scrolling background and see how confused I was here. So to do that, um, let's make um, I think we have to just remove this. Ah, uh, I'm confused. There's a time limit, okay. So I have to make the background moving. That will be your different sprite. Another brain glitch we can say. After working on it for three minutes, bro, I am a scratch YouTuber. Why am I spending three minutes making a scrolling background? I thought it was working, but in reality, it wasn't. And I was confused again. Yeah, you can see, I don't want this. So how do I fix it? Um, Already create a clone? Yeah, so yeah. Nah, bro. Let's start from zero then. Let it just start from zero, zero. Okay, okay. It, it should already create a clone. Um, nah, bro. No need. I hope this works. Ha, yeah, finally, this works. After struggling with the background and the start menu stuff, I started working on the game, which was the easiest part of the entire game. Like, gameplay is obviously the hardest part, but this time it was just easy. I made the flappy bird flap, which looked really nice. I made the obstacles obstacle, which looked really nice. Hopefully, please, okay, here we go. What if I touch them? Let's see. Okay, we lose. <laughs> and yeah, that was the gameplay. Then I started working on the restart menu. And it should be easy, but somehow another brain glitch had occurred. This time, I, for some reason, I don't know, I started trying to convert the start button into a restart button by adding the text like re before start and just adjusting it somehow. Like, what am I even doing here? It obviously didn't really work out and it looked like this. But I used it anyway because I'm too lazy to make another one. Then I added the flappy bird sound effects. And this, adding sound effects, this made me realize that my scoring system was broken. This works. This looks really good. Okay. Bro, what was that? Bro, what was that? After I fixed this problem, my game was basically done. So I started adding some random stuff like background music. Flap. Music. Okay. And then some shadow for my you lose sign. And finally, the time was over. Everyone shared their projects links in the group and rated games made by one another. And obviously, I won. I got 27 points out of 30. On the second place was Jamin, who got 24 points. Fat11 got 18 points. And Blob, the YouTuber, got 9 points. This is what I made. When we start, it shows an instruction, tap. Okay, this works. The point system works. The obstacles work. Everything works. And then if we lose, restart. We even have a restart. This is what Jammin made. Okay, spacebar again. I guess they have used some extension thing. The art looks really good, but the game i don't know it work if it works or not let me try okay that was actually good okay this one looks good but if i just fall it just does not detect that the game just goes on and i there is no way i can come up yeah you can see 
It's just weird. Let's this see. is what Fat Lemon made. How did you make this so good? This must be weird. This is not even working, bro. Okay, space bar. Okay, finally. Okay, okay. Nah, this is so broken. This is so broken. And this is what Blob made. You made this in 30 minutes? The score doesn't even work. It gets stuck there. That doesn't look good. Bro, I just pressed space two times and I died. What? In the end, Gandhi ID did win over Scratch by gaining 42 points, whereas Scratch just scored 36 points. I mean, it doesn't really prove anything, like everything is based on skill, but I still recommend you checking out Gandhi IDE. It is an amazing tool with all the features you ever dreamed of that you wanted in Scratch. It has sprite library, sound library. It has basically a lot of features. You can just check it out. Link is in the description. And that's the video. Thank you for watching.